Okay, folks, as promised, I will respond to your queries if you email me your queries. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to keep up with those responses, but here's our first query for the day. It comes from Santu. Santu's query is on page 263 of your textbook, and it's example 4.1.3. His query is as follows. It says, where the pencil is pointing, now he sent us a screenshot. We'll go to example 4.1.3 in a second. But his pencil is pointing to how about we say f of a is b, f of b is c, and that's his main query. Now, I'm going to deal with more than just that, just to reinforce your understanding. Okay, so he says, if I draw the graphs for the given information, it is clear to me that f of a is in graph 1 is equal to c, which is in graph 2. So f of a is equal to c. So that means the rule f maps vertex a onto vertex c. My question is, how do I spot such a relationship if given information only without having to draw the two graphs? How did they conclude that f of a is b and so forth? Well, let's have a look at uh, Santos' question here. There's the question in the, in the original or in the main, uh, in, in example 4.1.3 says, are these graphs equal or isomorphic? Okay, so let us see again, just to remind you, how do we check for equal and how do we check for isomorphic? Okay, for equal, first of all, you ask yourself, are the vertices in set 1 identical to the vertices in set 2. And we can see there's a A, a B, a B, a B, a C, a C, a D, a D. So this is indefinitely then the case. The vertices are equal. So here you don't have to draw. For equal you don't have to draw. You look at the information that you are given. Now if we continue to the edges, the big thing is going to be are these edge, is edge set 1 equal to edge set 2? That's the question. If it is equal, then we have an equal graph. So let's see. There's AB in edge set 1. There's AB in edge set 2. There's AC in edge set 1. There's AC in edge set 2. Here is the problem. AD and BC. We'll come back now. CD is in graph 1 and CD is also in graph 2. So, how do we now argue this. We go about and we say AD, the edge AD, is an element of edge set 1, but it's not an element of edge set 2. Okay, and that's enough. That's enough for us to conclude that therefore graph 1 is not equal to graph 2 only based on the fact that those two things are not indeed are not equal okay it's different for an isomorphism oh, I, i'm going to need that information let's just remind ourselves about what an isomorphic oh, there we are what an isomorphic graph is by definition if we go back to the definition it says an isomorphism between two graphs g and one is a bijection now, bijection is an important idea. So, just to remind you about a bijection here. A bijection, if you have a set of vertices, let's just say A, B, and C, and you have another set of vertices, D, E, and F, there's a one-to-one -one mapping of these vertices. It's a unique mapping. There's no repeats. It's one-to-one. -one. Okay, so that is what we call a bijection here. Now we're going to check for that in a second. So we've got to check is it a bijection? Okay, yeah. Uh, that maps the vertices in set 1 onto the vertices in set 2. Okay, in such a way that the, if the edge AB is an edge in G1, if and only if F of A, F of B, so the, the uh, mappings of those also forms an edge in G2. The two graphs are isomorphic if there's an isomorphism between them. Now, Santu, your answer to answer your question there, you cannot do that without having 
the diagram. The diagram is going to make it so much easier for you. So for graph 1, we can draw the four vertices. The, it's still small enough for us to deal with the graphs and to quickly draw these graphs. Okay, so for graph 1 and for graph 2 over here, I'm going to draw them uh, what differently. Let's do that, that, and that. And let's just say this is A, that is B, this is C, this is D. Okay, so the vertex, vertex sets are in there. Now we need to draw the edges. Graph 1 has edge A, B. Graph 2 has edge A, B. Perfect. Graph 1 has edge A, C. Graph 2 also has edge A, C. Graph D has the edge A, D over there. Graph uh, 2 has the edge BC. Okay, now you'll see I deliberately drew them differently. Graph 1 has the edge CD and graph 2 has the edge CD over there. So there's my two graphs. Now what's important to see about those graphs is we have a valence of 1 there, a valence of 1 here. A valence of 3, a valence is the number of edges that comes into a vertex. So it's the degree of the vertex. The degree of C is also 3. Degree of C here is 2 and D is 2. A is 2 there and B is 2. So let's just start with a vertex, vertex set. F of A in the first graph, valence of 3, it has to map onto C in the second graph. Okay, let's go with f of b. f of b has a valence of 1, so it maps onto a valence, uh, onto vertex d with a valence of 1. So what am I actually doing here, folks? I'm checking the structure of the graph. For isomorphisms, the structures have to be the same. For equality, the, two, the entries have to be the same. So if I quickly revisit equality, if the one vertex set was A, B, C, and D, and the other vertex set was D, E, e, D, e F, and G, that's not equal. So I could have stopped there and say the graphs aren't equal if the vertex set was different. Okay, so let's go and look at F of C. F of C, I'm spoiled for choice here. I can either map it onto A and B. I'm just going to hoil onto A. And then F of D... I can map then finally, make my D look like a D, can map onto the vertex B. So there's my mappings. And it is a one-to-one -one mapping. Okay, so it is indeed a bijection. So it does serve or it does meet that requirement of the definition. Now we need to look at the edge set. The edge set, it has A, B in graph 1. Then it has a D in graph 1, it has a C in graph 1, and also C, D. Now I can work with my mapping. A maps onto C in the second graph. So everywhere where there's an A, I'm going to put a C. Okay? Then B maps onto D. Everywhere where there's a B, I'm going to put a D. There's no other B here. Okay? Everywhere where there's a C on this side, I put an A on the other side. Okay, so there's a C. So we have an A here and we have an A there. Okay, and everywhere where there's a D, it gets a B. There's a D there, it gets a B. There's a D second, it gets a B. So let's check. A, B maps onto C, D. A, B is over here. It maps onto C, D. Now before I tick that, it has a 3 valence and a 1 valence, a 3 valence and a 1 valence. Perfect. AD over there has a 3 to 2, a 3 to 2 between C and B on the other side. And then AC on this side is also 3 to 2. So it has CA on the other side, which is also 3 to 2. Now the only one is 2 to 2, 2 to 2. It absolutely works. Okay, so I can now conclude that graph 1 is isomorphic to graph 2 in this case. So, Santo, let's quickly revisit your initial question. Your initial question was asking, um, my question is, how do I spot such a relationship if given information 
only without having to draw the two graphs. Okay, so for equality, I hope it's clear to you that for the equality, um, you do not have to draw the graphs. But for the isomorphism, it's going to be a little bit difficult if you just look at the theoretical component of what you've got. You have to absolutely draw these graphs. Your graphs are small enough. Draw them and investigate them the way we did. I hope that helps you, Santo, and I hope that helps a few of you that had the same query as what Santo had.